Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Denny and today we have a Dollar Tree haul. I haven't gone to the dollar store in quite a while so I felt like I've been missing out on all the new things that they've been bringing there. A lot of the products that I found at the dollar store are actually e.l.f. products but before I say that, I know that e.l.f. products are a very affordable line and that a lot of their items in the white packaging are usually around one dollar so those items i understand why they would be at the dollar store but then there are a lot of other items that i found recently that i know are priced at a much higher value three four five six dollars depending on which item it is and just to see them at the dollar store was very exciting so I'm just going to go ahead and start picking out things that I picked up from the dollar store. So the first item that I was able to get was this Ultimate Blending Brush. Now I have several of these in my collection and I paid $6 for these at the e.l.f. store. I just found these at the Dollar Tree for just $1 and guess what I did? Um, I bought like three of them because for half of the price I was able to get three of them. And you know I had to stock up. And actually I, I have the proof right here that I did get three of those. Now the next item that I saw was the angled foundation brush. I had never seen this one. I've never really looked at these brushes in the actual store and I do go to the e.l.f. store pretty often. But I don't remember or recall ever really looking at this brush. But this one retails for $4. And to see it at the dollar store, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab that one as well. Next one that I saw was the flat liner brush. And I use these a lot for smudging under my eyes. So when I saw that there as well, I decided to grab one of these. And this guy right here retails for $3. The next thing that I found there was the small tapered brush. And I don't recall this one either. So I ended up grabbing this one as well, and this retails for $3. Another brush that I found was the Angled Blush Brush, and this one retails for $4. So I picked this one up as well. Now, I did pick up one that was $1 in value, but I didn't have this brush, and I saw it there, and it is the Brow and Comb combination. The next thing that I found were these three different lipsticks, and these retail for three dollars a piece and i have here razzle dazzle red which is a supposed to be a red color i didn't open it yet i also have the velvet matte in blushing brown and then i picked up another velvet matte in berry bordeaux or I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But these items as well are $3 and to see them for $1 yet again, I had to go ahead and grab them. The next product that I saw was this Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in medium brown. So this one right here is $4 as well and I don't recall ever really looking at this item when I was at e.l.f. but for $1, so the theme of this video is for $1, why not? The next item that I picked up was a smudge pot and I feel like these are being phased out. I got the color why not and I feel like it's a very cute color. I haven't swatched it or anything but I feel like I am going to like this and I know for a while there I was really liking the smudge pots so if they're phasing them out and that's where they're putting them I'm pretty happy because now I have now, one. The last e.l.f. product that I was able to find shocked me because it looks like it's one of their newer items. It's the Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Shadow in Brush Copper. And I know this is a more newer line, so to see this one, it actually surprised me because I know this is a newer line. And this guy right here retails for $4. And that concludes my Dollar Tree haul. So if you like Dollar Tree haul videos, go ahead and give me a like. Let me know in the comments if your Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, depending on where you are, if they carry these products and if you've seen these guys. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, become a member of my family because when we get to 100 subscribers, we will be having a giveaway. 
and I feel like some of these things could go into that giveaway. Well, as always, from my house to yours, love ya.